Yo guys, what's up? Long time no video. I just came back from spring break and you know when you come back from spring break and the teachers are like, yo, hope you had a good break, but here's, uh, you know, all this work for you. Anyways, that's my deal right now. Six weeks of school left and then I've graduated from college and we can focus fully on this game. So I apologize for the lack of videos. Just a quick reminder that the soup t-shirts are still alive. We still have the supreme and nice t-shirts up. So I'll leave a link for that below. So today is update Thursday as usual with a couple cool updates. I want to go over with you guys a bit of quality of life stuff again. No big updates yet. I'm still waiting for that big one that I can go over. But recently it's just been lots of quality of life updates, which don't get me wrong, is insanely nice. Makes the you know game a lot easier, which I enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the new display name looker upper thingamabobber. I like that looker upper thing of a bobber. Anyways, go to your settings. If you go up here to chat and then display name, you can see that there is now a username checker in game, which is pretty cool. So basically, all you do is look up a name. Just click right here, and let's say I want to do, um, I don't know, shitty guides. Just the first thing that came to my head. Look it up. Oh, name's rejected. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll try soup is good. So we look that up. Soup is good is not taken, so technically I can go ahead and take it right now. I can also have the bond option right here. It'll tell you up here when your next free changes if you have to wait for your next free name change. I think it's like every 30 days or something. You can also check on your account on the website, but there's just a really easy way to check now in game to see if the name you really want is available. There's actually name releases happening right now. I think every day during a weekday, a new letter is being released. So I think today is G or H or something like that, but you can check on the main Twitter, RuneScape Twitter for all that information. But yeah, nice little update here. So for those of you guys who have played a long time, one of the most annoying things, at least for me, was when you travel with the Gnome Glider, you always had to go back to the Grand Tree before you went anywhere else. So you talk to this guy, have to go back to the Grand Tree and then go to your spot. Well now, this dude will take you anywhere you want without actually having to go back to the Grand Tree. So let's say I wanna to go to the, the mountain. No, there we go, Nut Glider goes that way. Boom, straight at the mountain. So you can pretty much go to any glider you want and not have to worry about going back to the gnome tree. Just a small little quality of life update, but it will save you a little bit of time depending on you know where you're going. For those of you looking for a bit more organization in your life, you know the option to be more organized in game within your clan chat, friends list, and ignore list. So basically there's these little arrows up here, which I feel like I'm not gonna forget about anytime soon. Oh, well, I actually I'll probably forget about it. But yeah, that's a little option to change and, and organize your list however you want. So by your friends list, you can um, display by display name or pretty much put an order by world. So basically, you can see right here, move down the arrow. It is now in alphabetical order. Easy way to find people uh, who is offline and then who is online. And then also uh, what world they are in. So from looks like from your world and then from uh, low to high. So pretty cool. And then... The uh, ignore list, I think it's just by display name, looks like a legacy sort, sort by name. Oh, maybe that's the first person I banned, too lucid. If you're still there, man, I hate you. Uh, and I have a bunch of people who have been banned. But uh, yeah, if you're on this list, shout out to you. You did something that pissed me off. So by clan chat, we actually have the option to sort by rank. So I have one general in here right now. That is scary. By the way, join my CC, soup. Pretty cool place to be. And uh, yeah, alphabetical order world and then uh legacy i guess is that what it is legacy sword i don't even know what that is it looks like legacy sword is just alphabetical order though which is a little bit weird but uh, yeah cool little organization option that uh, might be useful to some of you and that's pretty much it for the updates this week not that many just a small little quality of life update hopefully we'll see a bigger update come out soon there's some really big talk a really big discussion about the inferno coming out in the summer i believe they're doing a bunch of live streams on it uh, actually, one later today, I believe, or it's already happened. You can go check that out if you want. But uh, the in other news, basically, they fixed some things in raids. So basically, when a member of a raid party leaves early, the points multiplier for that raid will be reduced based on the number of people left, but the difficult bo bosses will stay the same. So they sort of fixed the scaling issue on that. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the screenshot on screen now if you guys want to check it out. And I'm also going to leave a link to the news post down below as well. Some bug fixes as well. Bolt pouch has been removed since uh, I didn't clear the bolts on death. So you guys who abused it later because you're done. Just kidding, your bolt pouch has just been removed from your bank. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I'm actually going to show you guys something on my hardcore really quick. On my hardcore really quick. Here we go. So I finally actually managed to AFK at Raw Crabs or actually Sand Crabs for quite a while. I got 130 combined total between strength and attack. As you guys saw in my last video, I was trying to get that for a defender. And I've been here for 1,600 tokens, and I have gotten one bronze defender. Now, I just want to double check with you guys. You don't need to wear the defender, right, to get the next level of defender. It just needs to be in your inventory, I believe. I'm 99.9% .9 sure, but... Oh, man, I just voice cracked. Please don't judge me for that, but I uh, just want to double check with you guys. I will have another hardcore Iron Man video out this weekend for you guys, but I'm also going to be doing something different with the Unusual Money Making series. So usually I would just focus the video on one method, but since they actually don't take that long to do or to test out, I actually figured I'd maybe upload 
three or even four or five methods in one video, which may actually make it a bit more interesting. You guys can see a bunch of different methods. Since I get sent so many, I thought it'd be cool just to put you know a bunch of them in one video instead of just focusing on ones. And some of you guys found that boring. So if you like that change, just make sure to drop a like on a video. Let me know below if you want to see that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Again, apologies for the videos. Been a bit slow recently, but I really just want to finish this semester. You guys know the struggle as a senior in your final year, whether it's middle school, <laughs> uh, high school, or college. Just want to get it over with. But thank you guys all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one and peace. Bye.